In this video, we are going to extend the project around Spring Cloud Gateway and an Angular app with OAuth 2 security. The OAuth 2 security we are going to do with a Spring Authorization Server. We begin by configuring the Spring Authorization Server. In the Palm XML file we have Spring Boot Starter version 3.0.6 and the dependencies Spring Boot Starter Web and Spring Security OAuth 2 Authorization Server version 1.0.2 The full configuration is in the Security Config class the two security filter chain beans user details service bean password encoder bean registered client repository bean authorization server settings bean jwt decoder bean and the jwk source bean with the private methods jwk source and generate rsa key you can find more videos about Spring Authorization Server on our YouTube channel. After the Spring Authorization Server, we can discuss the modifications to the two Spring Resource Servers. We have added in the Palm XML file a new dependency. Spring Boot Starter OAuth 2 Resource Server. We also have this dependency in the second Spring Resource Server. The following file is the application YML file. Here, in addition to the port and name, we now have a configuration of the Spring Authorization Server. Again in both resource servers. The core security file from the previous video has been replaced by the security config class. This is a standard and simple configuration of the resource server. The classes are the same for both Spring Resource Servers. Nothing has been changed in the two home controllers. The first home controller returns Spring Resource Server 1. And the second home controller returns Spring Resource Server 2. Next up is the Spring Cloud Gateway. We now have the Spring Boot Starter OAuth 2 client dependency in the Palm XML file in addition to the Spring Cloud Starter Gateway dependency. To have Spring not create a user in this app, we modified the Spring Boot application annotation with an exclude of the Reactive User Details Service Auto Configuration class. We also now have a Security Config class with the default Security Web Filter Chain Bean. The last file is the Application YML file. We have the port, Application Name, a Cloud Gateway Default Filter. Token Relay is used to convert the access token from the Spring Authorization Server to a session in the Angular app. And the three routes from the previous video. The last configuration is the OAuth 2 client registration. We can now switch to Visual Studio Code for the Angular app. Here we have a few small changes. In the app component HTML file we have a login button and in the app component ts file a login function to show the Spring Authorization Server login screen. Furthermore, in the button functions we have changed the full path to a relative path. We can now start the Angular app with ng-serve. Host 127.0.0.1 Once we have launched all the apps, we can look in our browser window to see if everything is working properly. We open 127.0.0.1 port 8090. This is the Spring Cloud Gateway and get the window of the Angular app. If we press Call Resource Server 1 we get an error because we are not logged in. The same thing happens with the second button. If we press login we are redirected to the login window of the Spring Authorization Server on localhost port 9000. We can login with the user account. We are redirected back to the Angular app window. If we now click on Call Resource Server 1 we get the response from the Resource Server 1. If we press Call Resource Server 2 we get the answer from Resource Server 2. 
As you can see, everything works as expected. Thanks for watching this video till the end, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video.